it has been, quite literally. A perfect start then for Vincent Company and Bayern Munich. Four games, four victories in the Bundesliga. Add to that, of course, that huge win in the Champions League as well, where they scored nine. Uh, Stevie, when it was announced that Vincent Company was going to be the new coach, uh, you were worried. I don't think you were sleeping very well I at night. I don't think I was alone, was I? Well, that, that wasn't, it doesn't matter if you other people... It was you, you're an individual, you have your own thoughts. Not too many. Um, are you surprised? I'd have to say I'm surprised at how fluid they've become. Because you couldn't have said that, particularly last season. They just seem to stutter along. Yes. So there's no question that whatever he's been doing has untangled all the knots and they look as though they're free-flowing right now. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's great now. But again, you know, we're only... Well, they're only, what, five, six games into the season. Uh, so it's a little bit early to, to judge. But, of course, the signs are good. By Leverkusen next weekend. Yeah. You look at those yeah. three teams in the graphic there. I mean, Werder Bremen are mid-table at the moment. Uh, how they're even that by the looks of that performance. Uh, so you, there's been lots of goals. I mean, Elise has looked great going in. Really has. As a new signing. You think about the players in his position that they've got, Gnabry and, and Sani, guys that are inconsistent. If he can bring this sort of consistency to the team, that's going to be huge for them and huge for somebody like Harry Kane to have somebody as talented, uh, not only scoring goals, but you know, being on the assist as well. So it's not a huge surprise that they've started well because he's got, there's a lot of good players at Bayern. Yes. So you're not going in, it's not like you're working with average players. You're working with good, uh, good quality individuals that underperformed last year. Right at the end of the day, they underperformed under Thomas Tuchel. Uh, as you said, the big test for this team will be will be Leverkusen. Uh, but I, yeah, I mean, it was a big decision to take Vincent Company, particularly off, off the back of his sacking at Burnley. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of managers I think could go in there and and get a tune out of some of these players. Right. It's just at the end, for some reason, I don't know if it was Tuchel behind the scenes, he was always moaning at the end, wasn't he? He really was. I didn't, well, I didn't get that player, I didn't get that player, and I think the players at the end were saying, this guy's this guy just making excuses mm -hmm. for everything. You know, it's almost like none of it was his fault. And so, company's going in, he's very positive, he's, you know, near the ages of those guys as well, they all, they all sort of know him as a player, and at this moment in time, he's getting the tune out of them, and, and that really is not a surprise. At the end of the year, we'll, we'll see how it all shakes out, but it's been a great start. I suppose, Jules, I should ask you about Elise, with him being, what, French and everything? <laughs> yeah, we can talk about him. I mean, I, even if he was not French, really, I think we have to um, show a lot of admiration and respect for how he's adapted and integrated into a new league, a new country, a new team, not talk, not speaking the language, there's a lot of people who speak English in Germany, but you see what I mean, like, at such a young age and he's a very introvert guy, it's not easy, I think, to go from Crystal Palace to Bayern Munich for all that money as well, the, 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 the price tag on you, going there and then it's five goals in his last three games and I know he was killed. Zagreb and then Werder Bremen today was hardly better than the other two, really. And that's 20 goals in three games for them in the space of one week. It's, it's remarkable. And obviously, in, against a team like that, somebody like Olize is always going to shine. But still, I think he's adapted so, so well and, and showing, I mean, on that right-hand side, coming inside onto his left foot. And now he even scores header. He's everywhere. He's... Decision making is good. So there's a lot of really, really positive from his first few weeks and few months at the club. Uh, just a reminder then, the Bundesliga continues tomorrow. by Leverkusen in action against Wolfsburg. That's our feature game at 9.30, followed by Dortmund against Stuttgart. And then, as we mentioned, next weekend, no doubt about it, the big game in Germany, the defending champions.